Amazon Web Services has really enabled uh, our team to launch three new services that are part of the healthcare.gov website. Um, it enabled us to launch those in a way that the services were reliable, stable, uh, and produced a streamlined experience that got a couple million people uh, coverage through the last open enrollment period. My name is John Booth. I'm the director of the Web and New Media Group at the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, which is part of the Department of Health and Human Services. My group runs the, uh, the agency's public web program, so we run um, a number of public websites. We have Medicare.gov, Healthcare.gov, CMS.gov, and a variety of other websites. We were building a couple of projects or products that were going to be part of the healthcare.gov website. And one of the things that we knew from having gone through the launch of the site was that we needed to have a smooth launch, we needed to have a scalable solution. We had brought on a development team. That team was very familiar with Amazon Web Services, and so they suggested that we take a look at it. One of the things that really helped us um, get moving very rapidly was that the, uh, the AWS solution had a FedRAMP accreditation through HHS, and we were able to leverage that to get a lot of the base security work out of the way, so it allowed us to move very quickly. And then we were able to get to AWS through a contract that we have in CMS called the Virtual Data Center, or the VDC contract. There were three new systems that we built and launched in AWS. One is called the Streamlined Application, and that was an application that consumers could use to get an eligibility determination for marketplace coverage. The second was what we call window shopping, and that was used by consumers to compare plans and figure out what the cost of those plans would be. And the third was called the Scalable Login System, or SLS, which was a new identity management system that we built. The desire for moving to cloud was to be able to scale up and scale down the systems. Particularly when we're in an open enrollment period, there are certain dates when people sort of have to buy coverage to have it effective the next month. And so those days, we do see really high, high traffic peaks. We've, we've seen times where it's been in the hundreds of thousands, so it's gone, it's gone very high. On the systems that we did move into AWS, we've never had any sort of capacity issue that we've had to deal with. We've always, we've always been able to scale up. Um, and sustain the, the users that are on the system without having to sort of throttle any, uh, any usage or anything like that. We've definitely seen faster times to launch, uh, which we expected, so that's been, that's been great. We've seen cost savings, and so we've been able to provision more infrastructure than we had. We're probably running about three times the number of servers in AWS that we were in a traditional data center for about the same cost. So we use a, we use a fair number of products. We're using uh, EC2 instances, we're using S3 for storage, we're using Route 53 for DNS. We're always looking at what AWS offers. One specific example is the, uh, the RDS, the Relational Database Service. Our team has a need basically to create a more real-time database repl replication between availability zones. Um, and so we know that solution is out there and so we're looking to leverage that. So, you know, I think one of the things that we're excited to, to do moving forward um, in, our, you know, in our environment is we have a contract set up now uh, where additional workloads can come to AWS with money where they can sort of provision their own footprints. Um, and so we think that's going to increase the adoption of AWS across our agency significantly because we've got the right sort of vehicle set up and people can, can bring their resources to the table and set up the environments that they need to do their work. Cloud computing has really been transformational. Our time to launch our visibility into the environment, our, our ability to scale the environment in response to real-time things. Again, AWS has enabled us to, to do things that we just could never do um, in the traditional data center model that we were operating in.